T.S. Eliot theorized the mythical method in order to show the breakdown of Western culture. Pictures, voices, scenes of different languages and cultures coexist in the wasteland. Eliot makes a continuous comparison between a mythical past and a sterile and meaningless present. The current age is characterized by the loss of sense, the absence of real human relationships and alienation. So the commuters who arrive at the city remind Eliot of the damned souls in Dante's Inferno. The age of modernism suffers from the eclipse of God, of sense, of the absolute values which characterized the previous century. Einstein's theory of relativity undermined the basics of classical physics. Freud's psychoanalysis showed that man is not in full control of his own self because his free will is also influenced by the subconscious, the instincts and the drives that reason tries to control. Darwinism destroyed the basics of religious faith forever. The First World War caused a generational clash between the old generation, guilty of horrors such as imperialism, and the young, who were forced to fight a war they didn't understand. Europe was in decline and Eliot wanted to show it. The wasteland is a heap of broken images, what remains of the ancient splendor of the European civilization is an immense panorama of futility. Eliot starts this poem with an epigraph in Greek and Latin. It refers to a very famous old text, Petronius Satyricon. The poem refers to an ancient Greek oracle, the Sibyl, who was granted immortality by Apollo, forgot to ask for eternal youth. So she now really regrets this wish, because she just grows older and older and never dies. The speaker asks the Sibyl what she wants most, and she says that she wants to die. Actually, the poem is all about the spiritual and cultural death of the Western world. The classical allusion reminds us that in the poem we will find references to the greatest hits of Western literature. The wasteland is divided into five sections. Each one is dedicated to an element. The burial of the dead is dedicated to earth. The earth is desolated. Roots are not fertile, dull roots. April becomes the cruelest month because it promises a physical and spiritual regeneration that can't take place. Elliot makes a symbolic inversion. April becomes a cruel month because it reminds men of what their mythical past was and because it promises a new life. Winter becomes the best season because snow covers nature and immobilizes it. Men don't suffer during winter time because they don't think back to their old life. Their hopes and their memories are frozen and forgotten. Winter kept us warm under forgetful snow. The fire sermon is the description of a loveless sexual encounter. A typist meets a clerk in her apartment. There is no passion in their meeting. She is relieved when she leaves. In the wasteland, true human relationships cannot exist. The episode is narrated by the voice of Tiresias, a Greek mythological character. Tiresias is blind, but she is a prophet. She can see beyond the present. Eliot here uses the mythical method. A voice from the past describes a situation of the squalid and nonsensical present. 
Death by water operates another inversion of sense. Water is usually related to life. We are baptized with water and we gain a new life. In the wasteland, you die by water. The section is narrated by another voice from the mythical past, the voice of Phlebas, an ancient Phoenician sailor. In the last section, we find the answers. What the thunder said describes how men, demons and gods gather on a mountain and wait for the thunder to speak. The thunder is the fifth element, the ether, the spirit, probably God. When the thunder spoke, each group grasped a different meaning. The Sanskrit word da is interpreted as three teachings. Give, be compassionate, control yourselves. So the message is clear. The only way to put an end to the sterility and the desolation of the wasteland is to open our heart to the others, to be helpful, to give without conditions. The poem ends with a word of the Hindu religion, Shanti, repeated three times. It refers to Nirvana, peace that passes understanding.